Ready now. So what we've done is we've gathered together a, a collection of the most exclusive wines and wineries in the Guadalupe Valley, Mexico. And this is a small, relatively unknown region of Mexico, but it's 95% of the production of all of Mexico, of the wine in Mexico. So, so basically, the majority of all wines out of uh, coming for two, from exactly. Mexico the come from this of all region. Wines are coming out of this region of Mexico. There's probably about 70 plus wineries down there now, and producing close to five or six hundred labels of wine. Wow. And it's well, it's kind of unknown, but it's becoming very popular for tourists. Most of the wines are reds. There's a few whites as well. A lot of the wines are actually blends. So you'll see a lot of uh, uh, blends, 40-50% blends of various types of wines. And these are the whole gamut is there. Um, it's all it's a hot region, so the alcohol content tends to be pretty high. Uh, and so what's what's the average uh, alcohol? Uh, it's 14%. 14 percent alcohol. And so okay. you'll see uh, you'll see as high as 14.9 percent and as low as 13.2. But you'll get a, you'll get a very strong bold flavors. Most of the wines are bold, really strong good. bold reds. Good, good. A handful of the more exclusive producers they produce more um, sophisticated wines and they're a little more subtle in taste and they tend to be lighter in many ways than most of the others. Um, but overall, there, there is a, there's a the general trend is very bold um, reds, high in tannins, uh, high in alcohol, but a very good aftertaste. Something that leaves you, you know, wanting more a lot. Because most people are not familiar with Mexican wines, and they expect a, a bit of a shocker. But in fact, they are very, very advanced now. Many of the wine makers come from all over the world to help out the Mexicans to get to where they are today. And it's excellent. Over 25 years, a guy named Hugo de Costa actually created most of these wine uh, makers by creating a school in the middle of the Guadalupe Valley, where he introduced everybody to these wines and the wine making. And before that, there was just a lot of grape growing over there. And so he's, he's trained in France, he's been, he worked for Santo Tomas, and he's created a very large following of people who, and he has his own little school where he trains people how to make wine. And most of the people from that valley have been through that school. Excellent.